God, it's chunky. She needs a good scrub down, get all that wax off, re-rub brick it, wax wasn't doing it. Luckily we got the back lot. My name is Josh Stafford. We are here at Pickpocket Manufacturing, my little clothing company's storefront and workshop, and this is where I spend my life. I started skating. I mean, I was like pushing down the sidewalk on my knees and stuff, like when I was really young, but like I didn't skate at all until I was like 10 at my friend's birthday party and then it was on after that. And then sewing was kind of a random thing that started like eight years ago, 2015 probably. I never planned on starting a clothing company or anything. Back when I was like sponsored and skating a bunch and stuff and just getting boxes all the time, like I'd run out of room in the closet or whatever, you know, and have to get rid of old shit to make room for new shit or whatever. And I'd end up sitting on a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to trash, but I couldn't wear anymore, whether they were like too dirty or holed up or whatever, you know? I went to Target or something and just got like a cheap little sewing repair kit and was like, oh, I'm gonna cut the graphic out and make like a pocket tee out of it. So these are the first two pickpocket shirts. <laughs> Folded them by hand. Sam Beckett thought that it was legit and he was like, nice shirt, and just ripped it, never fixed it. Had a friend that like showed me the basics, like how to thread it, backstitch, you know, to like lock the threads in at the start and end, and then was just kind of self-taught from there. For like the one of one stuff where I like cut up old shirts and sew them onto new stuff, either go through thrift stores or I'm also lucky enough that my good buddy and also skater Noah Laura is super into the vintage clothing scene and he'll go to thrift stores every day. I'm lucky enough that he'll grab anything that he finds that he thinks I would like, you know? And then in exchange, I'll repair like some crazy old jeans from the 30s or something for him that are just like have holes in them or just split seams, you know? I'll wait to stack up some shirts that I know I'll be hyped on to like make some stuff out of. I'll go through the shirts one by one. I'm super visual, so like once I have both the shirt and the hoodie in front of me, I spend a bit of time just staring back and forth at both of them and then I kind of just start cutting. You cut big, cut the whole graphic out of the shirt and then I'll slowly cut up little pieces of it. As we do that, put it on there and think what would look good with it. Man, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to hours. But yeah, a lot of it has to do with the graphic. I don't want to do it for the sake of just doing it. I want to preserve the graphic in a way that lends it justice to itself. I always try to make it different enough that it's obvious that it's not their work, it's mine, it's an embellishment, and it's purely done out of respect, you know? Like, for the same reason that I started doing it and for the same reason that people bring their old shirts into me, it's because we love it and we don't want to stop wearing it. Smells like sewing spirit. I've gotten to do some really cool projects with people. I've done stuff with Peter Hewitt, Tony Hawk, Willie Santos, Jeff Grosso was my favorite one. All of them, all of the people I just mentioned are hoarders of shirts. Like, Grosso especially was crazy. Tony, Tony too. Old birdhouse shirt. Mid-90s you could get away with whatever you wanted back then. Just that little birdhouse rip on the back. One more tiny one that's super cool that I think that I'm just gonna hold on to is like this limited shirt that he did from when he was on The Simpsons in 2003, so that was dope. Him and Bart getting down. A little history lesson, big boys, dope band. But this graphic is what inspired the old Santa Cruz graphic up there. This one's dope too. Another one from Tony from when Mike Frazier rode for Birdhouse. Just dope little Lego Duplo. That's the thing is like, there's stories that go with every shirt. And most times it's something sentimental. You know, t-shirts are the best, man. You know, this is like a good t-shirt. I mean, when it comes to stuff that I design, my stuff tends to be kind of crude and comical with like kind of a darker tone. That definitely comes from myself. Honestly, the I love you shirt with the hate graphic behind it is probably the most basic graphic I've done, but also one of my favorites I've ever done just because it's love and hate, two sides of the same coin.
The more and more I do it, the more and more I realize that like this isn't something I want to be super massive because I enjoy so much of the like sentimental part and the like creative one of one stuff. And I feel like at a certain point, if I got too big, that would be hard to maintain that aspect of it. And I don't need all the money in the world, dude. I'm so hyped. I don't have a boss and I get to do what I love and like got some shit to skate in the front and back. Good curbs. Homies cruising through all the time. Vista parks down the street. I got lights. I'm good.